the iconic clown of the 21st century. Drums, please. Ronald McDonald. I'm sure this joyful mascot of the famous fast food restaurant chain McDonald's has more than once appeared in your dreams or nightmares. But do we really know anything about him? Well, in this video, we are going to find out who is this nostalgic clown and where he came from. Let's go! According to McDonald's, Ronald lives in the fictional world of McDonaldland with his friends Mayor Machise, Grimace, the Hamburglar, Birdie the Early Bird, and the Fry Kids. He is portrayed as a clown with red hair, a yellow jumpsuit, and a big red smile. Ronald McDonald appeared for the first time in 1963 in McDonald's advertisements and was portrayed by Willard Scott. Ronald was created by McDonald's to appeal to children and families and has been used in advertising campaigns, television commercials, and promotional events for the restaurant. He is often depicted as a friendly and approachable character, engaging in various activities and adventures in the commercials. In fact, Ronald McDonald is associated with the Ronald McDonald House Charities, a nonprofit organization that provides support and accommodations for families with seriously ill children who are receiving treatment at nearby hospitals. The charity was established in 1974 and has since expanded globally, with Ronald McDonald often serving as a symbol of the organization's philanthropic efforts. Ronald McDonald has changed many hands over the years, actually, at McDonald's Climax. There were about 300 full-time Ronalds in McDonald's restaurants. Some popular actors hired by the famous fast food chain to appear as Ronald were Willard Scott, Squire Friedel, and Bev Bergeron. But it's important to note that Ronald McDonald isn't the same in every country. He has adapted to every country's culture and language. For example, in Thailand, Ronald McDonald embraces people using the traditional Thai Y gesture, where both hands are pressed together. And in Japan, due to the absence of a distinct R sound in Japanese pronunciation, Ronald McDonald is referred to as Donald McDonald. But the main question surrounding Ronald McDonald is, why has he stopped appearing? This question has several reasons that actually make sense. Let's review them. Reason number one, McDonald's has changed its audience. You see, McDonald's used to focus on making their money through kids. Happy meals, iconic toys, colorful restaurants, and childish mascots were all ways of persuading kids to spend their parents' money. But since 2012, McDonald's has shifted its audience to adults with renewed dining rooms, self-order kiosks, and many other improvements. Reason number two, unethical use of kids' psychology. Since fast food was publicly announced as a leading cause of obesity, people started criticizing McDonald's use of their mascot to attract children's attention. In 2011, over 500 doctors expressed criticism of the ethical and moral implications of employing a clown character to promote unhealthy food to children, as reported by CBS News. In addition, according to a study published in the National Library of Medicine, it was found out that there was a very strong positive correlation between overweight rates and the number of McDonald's restaurants. Therefore, it shouldn't be promoted to kids. And the last reason, the 2016 clown sightings. In 2016, widespread panic ensued as reports of individuals dressed as menacing clowns in unusual locations, including forests and schools, fueled mass hysteria. The incidents, which began in August 2016, were documented in various countries such as the United States, Canada, Australia, and England, extending to other regions. This caused fear of the known mascot among kids and even adults. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. If you have any requests for future videos, comment them below. See you next time.